Hi, hi, I'm here. Last couple of days I've been doing tests on this Intense Outdoor Gear uh, x light alcohol stove. And I think I've been trying to use it in a way that it's not meant to. Trying to get two cups of water to a boil. Um, today I'm going to do a test on what I think this uh, ultralight item is really made for. I'm going to try boiling one cup of water and see how fast it gets. I'm going to use my old Heineken pot mug here. I haven't used this in a while because for a while there, I, every time I use this stuff, I would get messages from people that I'm trying to kill them because they're all lined with plastic and everything. But please don't send me messages like that. I know. So I'm going to use the Heineken pot. I had other choices. I could have used my Vargo titanium, but I think uh, this might be a little slow for trying to heat up. I have an aluminum mug. <coughs> excuse me that I use. I could try that. But again, I think from what I've been seeing this used for, I think they're for the cans, the uh, beer can pots. I could also try it with my GSI Glacier Cup. But uh, again, I think too heavy. It seems to work for the thin aluminum. Last night after I did my previous test, I tried an idea out. I thought maybe if I put alcohol in a tea light cup, put it under the burner, that maybe that way I could extend uh, how long the burn was that I would have. But when I put the pot on here and then lit this, the alcohol in the tea light cup really heated up the stove fast, which is what I wanted. But it also made the fuel come squirting out and everything and used it up way too fast. So I didn't get to uh, the two cup boil anyway. But it is a good idea as far as uh, lighting this to begin with. Previously, you'd light the inside and waste about a minute waiting for the bloom to come out. So that all just wastes alcohol. It was funny though. I got a comment this morning from Mr. Full Auto AK47 where he said, put the pot on first, use an upside down jar lid, dribble some fuel on the base, plus the 15 milliliters. It should preheat, preheat, yeah, preheat, and then boil. That way, no wasted heat during priming. I agree. Uh, for priming, it should, I think it should be primed on the outside rather than wasting fuel that you put on the inside because you are limited as to how much fuel you can actually put in this. What I'm going to use today, though, is, sorry about that, my cardboard base that's covered with aluminum tape. This has two sides. Well, oh, that was a stupid comment. This has two different sides. This side is flat. This side, I dented the center. Try not to flash you here. Dented the center where it, I pushed it down and forms a little pocket and I put another layer of the aluminum tape there. That way when I use this with my trangias and stuff, I set the, the uh, whole stand here, put a little bit of alcohol in the indenture, in the indent, and then it preheats everything. I'm gonna do the same thing with this burner with the x light, put a little alcohol on the base here. By having that dent, then the alcohol stays in the center of the plate and not float out everywhere. Let me put the cup on. It's setting it one cup of water, setting it 60 degrees. Let's light this. I'll start the test there. You can see it's heating, I hope you can see this, it's heating up the stove, but the, the heat that's heating the stove is also heating the pot. And there we're coming to a bloom. Now because it's heating the outside, you probably can't see this, but fuel is coming out of the jets. But the cardboard is keeping it in place and helping to preheat the stove again. You really should, if you're doing outside, especially in the cold, something like this is really handy. Okay, so let's let this test go and see how long it takes to come to a boil. We're two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 121 degrees, so it looks like this is heating up faster. Of course, then it's only one cup of water. Nice flame, it's still doing little pulses there. But uh, let's just see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 
212 at 458. Okay, so that was a full boil. That was one cup of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature is 49 degrees, humidity 46. It's snowing out. Not a good snow, but just a little snow. Uh, I'm just wasting time here to see how long this will go. What I had in here was 15 milliliters of methanol plus a couple of drops on the outside on the plate. It wouldn't even come out to 16 millimeters, milliliters probably. Water's doing a nice boil. And you know, one thing with this is, oops, maybe putting it on that curved surface isn't a good idea. It's a rounded, rounded pot bottom on a three-point stove on a rounded bottom. Hmm, might be something to look at. Still water, still methanol in the bottom of the burner, just burning away. Let me see if I can put this back on. Doesn't want to help here. But this looks like this will give you enough burning time to disinfect at least one cup of water. Usually I know there's people out there that say they have to wait 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of boiling time to make water disinfected and safe, but I've only ever boiled it, let it run for a minute after boiling and I've never caught anything, although I use filters and stuff too. It just all depends on, you know, what school you went to. Okay, so this is going to run for over 7 minutes, so let's just call it at that. So it works for that, if you know, Graham Weenie type thing, if you want to do one cup of water at a time for a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or oatmeal in my case, it works great for that. But if you want to do big supplies of water, two cups on up, and I'm not knocking this, don't get me wrong, but you just can't use a Graham Weenie type item to do lots of water. It's a small device made to heat up small amounts of water to a boil or whatever. So again, this is the X-Lite stove from Intense Outdoor Gear. I'll leave links down below. I'll also leave links to uh, Intense Angler. You should check out his videos. He even shows you how to make one of these on your own. He gives you all of the information so you can make one of these yourself. But I like buying or getting other people's burners and testing them out. It's a little warm, but yo, it is warm. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.